and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait upon the Lord, but those who wait upon the Lord, but those who wait upon the Lord shall renew strength, renew their strength. They shall mount up with the wings like eagles. We shall run and not be weary, and we shall walk and not faint. Father, I thank you for the words of Isaiah. Oh, I thank you, Father. Your word is true. Father, I thank that right now your strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. So when we are weak, we are then strong. Father, according to your word, based on 2 Corinthians 12 and 9 through 10, your strength is made perfect in my weakness. And when I am weak, then I am strong. Father, I thank you for your plans are perfect. And your plans are according. And I thank you, Father. Oh, I give you praise. Lord, your word says in Psalms 32, 12 through 15, the righteous will flourish like a palm tree and they will grow like a cedar of Lebanon planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming the Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no wickedness in him. Father, I thank you for your words in Psalm 71. But I will hope continually, and I will praise you yet more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and of your salvation all the day. For I do not know their limits. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of your righteousness, of yours only. Oh God, you have taught me from my youth. And to this day, I declare your wondrous, your wondrous works. Now also, even if I become old and gray-headed, oh God, do not forsake me until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to everyone who is to come. Oh, Father, I thank you that we will declare your power to everyone who is to come. We will declare your strength to this generation. Your strength, not anyone else's strength. Your strength, not any else's way. Your strength, Father. Oh, last day Oh, Father, I give you glory. I give you praise. I thank you, Father, that you take our hands and you walk us this way. Oh, Father, I thank you. You destroy the works of the wicked one. I thank you that you destroy the works of the wicked, of the wickedness that tries to rise itself above the knowledge of Christ and rise itself above the children of God. Oh, Father, I thank you that you have stationed your angelic host, your angels of war that go forth throughout the land and destroy 
the works of the enemy. I thank you. Oh, you are good, Father. Glorious King, glorious King. Oh, Father, I thank you, Lord, for the words spoken over this place. I thank you, Father, for the words spoken over the people that are to be in this place. I thank you, Father, for the words, the prophetic perseverance. I thank you. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I give you glory for the team. I give you glory for the team. I thank you that you have. You have each and every one. I thank you, Lord Jesus. You ignite them. You ignite them with your love and the fire of God. Oh, I thank you. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you for the word of 2 Corinthians 3. Lord, I thank you. It says, now the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Oh, I thank you. But we all with unveiled faces, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Father, I thank you that you are transforming each and every one of us that you call to come forth here in glory to glory, from glory to glory, from glory to glory. I thank you, Father, that there's victory, victory over each house, victory over each life, victory and freedom, Father, that they walk in. They walk in, Father, with your victory. They walk in with your victory because they are fighting from victory. They are not in. They are fighting from the victory. They're standing in, seated in heavenly places. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, unveiled faces, beholding us as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord, transforming, transforming. Father, I thank you that we're being transformed, transformed into same image from glory to glory. Father, I thank you for Psalm 63. Oh God, you are more awesome than your holy places. The God of Israel who gives strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, oh God. Blessed are you, O oh God. Blessed are you, O oh King. Blessed are you. But your word says in Proverbs 4, Oh, my son, attend, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine hearts, for they are life. On to those that find them. And help, help to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it, out of that, are the issues of life. Lord, we come. Oh, Father, we incline our ears unto your saying. We do not allow them to depart from our eyes. We keep them in the midst of our hearts. For they are life. They are life unto us. They are breath. They are life. They are eternal promises, eternal truths. And right now, we find. 
bind them. And we bind your words, your truth, to our health, to all of our flesh right now. We keep our heart with the diligence. We check. Father, we check our hearts. Oh, Lord Jesus, forgive us. Forgive us in any wrongdoings. Forgive us. Forgive us in any wrong ways. Oh, Father, we repent. Lord, I thank you. I thank you that you are good and you are true. And Father, when we come to you, we say, look, look, look at our hearts. Father, look at our ways. Father, we repent if there's anything wicked, anything wicked in any way. Oh, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Father. I thank you. Oh, I love you. Oh, how we love you. Lord, I thank you for the guidance and protection and the preservation. The preservation. That is the word, Holy Spirit. The preservation. The preservation. <laughs> Father, I thank you for the prophetic utterances that have been placed over our lives. For the prophetic preservation over the house, over our lives, over the destinies of the people that are called to come. I thank you, Father, for the prophetic perseverance, preservations. Father, I thank you that you said the Lord shall preserve me. The Lord shall preserve me from all evil. He shall preserve my soul. And the Lord shall preserve my coming out. My going out and my coming in. For this time, for and even forevermore. Oh, Father, I give you glory. I give you glory. I give you glory. Oh, Father, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, you're worthy. I thank you, Father. Oh, you preserve us. You preserve us. Oh, you preserve us from all evil. All evil. Father, you preserve us. And you pers you preserve our soul. You preserve. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father. Lord, you said that the lion's whelp have not trodden in it. Now the fierce lion passed by it. Seeing it is hid from their eyes all living and kept closed from the fowls of the air. Lord, I thank you. There is a path which no fool knoweth and which no vulture's eye have not seen. Oh, I thank you. I thank you, Father, for the path which no fowl I thank you, Father, 
that the vulture's eye hath not seen it. And the lion's whelps, they have not trodden to it, nor the fierce lion passed by it. Because what you have brought forth is hid from the eyes of all living and kept close from the fowls of the air. For the Lord is my light and he is my salvation. Whom shall I fear? For the Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And when wicked comes against me, or when wicked comes against my family, or when wicked comes against the ministry, I try to eat up our flesh. My enemies and vows, they will stumble and they will fall. Though an army of many encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. In this I will be confident. One thing that I have desired of the Lord, and that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his opinions. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. <laughs> oh, I will sing. Yes, I will. I will sing praises to the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we will sing. Oh, yes, we will celebrate, celebrate with our King. Oh, we will. Oh, we will. Oh, we will. Oh, we will celebrate. Oh, we will celebrate. Oh, we will worship and praise to Thee. Our King of Kings, a Lord of Lords, oh Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is worthy of everything. Oh, he's worthy of everything. Every nation 
you encounter. I will make your enemies turn their backs and run. Oh, I thank you, Father. You send terror ahead. Ahead. You throw confusion into every nation. You make every enemy turn back and run. And I thank you. I thank you, Father, that our brothers and sisters are not our enemies. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Hear you, beautiful bride. But that which is an enemy, they, they will turn back and run. I thank you, Father. Thank you for the revelation. Father, I thank you that your word says, I will trust in the Lord with all of my heart. And I will not lean on my own understanding. But in all of my ways, I will acknowledge you. And you will direct our path. I am not wise in my own eyes. I fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be help to my inward parts and strength to my bones. Father, I thank you for your word in Joshua 1 where it says the book of the wherever we go and that name I have one, seven. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble and he knows who those who trust into him. Father, I thank you that you are our stronghold in every day of trouble, in every day where we don't know where we are going to get through. But you, we know, hold to. And we know that we can keep our eyes upon you and not look to the right, not look to the left, but hold, hold, hold with you. To put our face like flint with our eyes locked on to your gaze. Knowing that you will bring us through these days. Oh, Father. Blessed is the man who you instruct, oh Lord, and teach of your law. That you may give him relief from the days of adversity. Oh, Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. You said until the pit is dug for the wicked. Oh, Jesus. Blessed is the man whom you instruct, O oh Lord, and teach out your law, that you may give him relief from the days of the Adversity until the pit is dug for the wicked. Oh, Father, I thank you for Isaiah 41.10. Fear not that you are with us. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Father, I fear not. I fear not, Lord, of what I'm looking at. I fear not, Lord, of what I'm feeling. I fear not, Lord, of what I see. But, Father, I know the plans you have for me. I know. I know the plans. Plans of peace and not evil. Plans of prosperity and not calamity, to give me a hope, to give your children hope, hope and a future. So Father, we look to you. We look 
to you. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are true. You are, you are the gift that the Lord gave unto us as he ascended. Our Father gave you. Holy, holy, holy. And I thank you. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, I give you, I give you all permission. Oh, I thank you for the transition. I thank you for the position. I thank you, Father, for the holy habitations. I thank you, Father, for the ways that you will move through here. I thank you for the eunuchs. I thank you, Father, for the sorcerers coming into the house. I thank you that you're building this house. And I thank you, Father, that you're bringing us into your ways. The way that you call this to be. Oh, Father, I give you praise. I give you praise. Oh, I thank you, Father, your word said in 2 Timothy 4.18. The Lord will deliver. The Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Oh, Father, I speak this over the people that come in on this line that hear this. The Lord will deliver you. He will deliver you from every evil work and he will preserve you for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Father, I thank you for your words and psalms. 118. I thank you, Father. You pushed me violently that I might fall. But the Lord helped me. And the Lord is my strength and is my song. And he has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but live. I will declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has chastened me severely. But he has not given me over to death. Oh, Father, I thank you for the words. Oh, I give you glory. Through the Lord's mercy, we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. And great is your faithfulness, O Lord. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him. To the soul who seeks him. Father, I thank you that we wait for you. We do not move into any pretense. We wait for you. We do not and are not pushed to do things that we think might be good. We push to do the things that you've called us to do. To stand where you've called us to stand. Miracle City. Oh, I thank you for the celebrations over Miracle City. I thank you for the angels from over Miracle City. I thank you, Father, for the worship events in Miracle City. I thank you for the children 
I thank you for the schools. I thank you for the partnerships. I thank you, Father, for those that you've called to come stand alongside. Bring what you've called Lake Park to be. Miracle City. To move. To move in your kingdom. To move in your way. Not our will, but yours be done, my Father. Jesus even said that unto you, God. Unto you, Father. He said, not my will be done, but yours. Oh, in the great, 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 great time in the garden. Crying out, sweating blood. Praying. Asking that there be any other way. no other way but the cross. There was no other way. Be it done. Your will. Father, I thank you for the hearts of the people that you're bringing forth from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. Father, in the community, the children, the parents, the addicts, the sexual trades. Oh, Father, there are so many halfway houses in Lake Park. There are so many buildings that commute and, and hold, Father, those that were brought in in sexual trade. And they're right here in this city. Right here in this land. Well, Father, I thank you. I thank you, Father, that you are bringing them to your son to know there's a good plan over their lives. I thank you for the equations in the sky. I thank you, Father, for the vision that you gave my husband. I thank you, Father, for the tree that planted right there at the lion's mountain. It sucked up every bit of evil, sucked up every bit of those problems, sucked up every bit of disease and darkness. And they ate from your tree, and they were healed and set free. And they were skipping and merrily, jumping and laughing and singing. I thank you, Father, that this city will be known as Miracle City that this city would be known how you called it to be. I thank you. And it will not be anyone's name or fame. It will be of you. It will be of you. It will be of you. Father, I thank you for the people that you called to come and be alongside, be in unity, 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 unity. No strife, no quarrel, no division, but unity, no pride, no disheartenedness, Unity. No lies, but love. Unity. I 
Thank you, Father. Yes. It is good and well with my soul. It is good and well with my soul what you're doing here. And I thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you for our government. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for DeSantis. I thank you for what you're bringing forth, Father. I thank you, Lord, that you will strengthen those that call upon your name and that you will bring them to rule and to reign for the season and the time that you have called them from on high. You've placed them to be. For the time that you have instructed for it to be. I ask for the peace in Jerusalem. Father, I ask that you would strengthen your children. I ask, Lord, that you would protect the children, the women, the men. Father, those that are marked for the heir of your salvation, I thank you for the angels. I thank you for the heartfelt conversions. In Iran, in Egypt, in Russia. all over the nations. I thank you, Father, for holy, divine, holy, divine, holy, divine transformations into your kingdom. I thank you, Lord, Father, I do lift up Biden. He said that we, we should pray. We should pray for those that are in leadership. And Father, I lift up, I lift up Biden to you. And I say, Father, you know the truth. You know his heart. You know his ways. Father, I ask, Lord, that you, you would speak to him in his subconscious, that you would bring forth, Father, a reverence for you. A reverence for you. Lord, I ask, I ask, Father, that you would bless him. You give every man, every woman, free will. Lord, I pray. I pray for him to see your will. I pray. I pray that you will give him eyes to see your will. Lord Jesus, you know the heart of him. You know the heart of every man. Father, I thank you for exposure where there needs to be exposures. And I thank you, Father, for the protection over President Trump. I thank you, Father, for what you've called forth to bring forth, to rise up, and to bring into. I thank you, Father, for the prophetic perseverance and preservation. I thank you for the Trump's family, for the prophetic preservation upon his life and his children and his children's children and his children's children's children. And I thank you, Father, for his wife. Lord, continue to keep them strong. And I thank you, Father, for the watchmen 
the watchman, the watchman, the watchman. I thank you, Father, that you arise and you awake the watchman to reveal the positions, to reveal, Father, the hidden things, to reveal like you did in the days of Elijah. To reveal the plan of the enemy. Oh, I thank you. Father, I lift up. I lift up Father Susan and her son Kyle. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Father, that you will continue to keep him. I thank you, Father, that you will preserve him. I thank you, Father that you will show your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand. And I thank you that you will save, save him. We trust in you. And Father, everything that rises up against Kyle right now, you will bring to destruction. Father, I thank you that you hide Kyle in the shadow of your wings. I thank you, Father, that you keep him from the wicked who oppress him and try to oppress him. And Father, right now, I thank you that you are with him. You are with him as he's being, uh, for whatever reason that, that they tried to say that he needs to be moved back there. Father, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. But Lord, you do. And I thank you, Father, that there's no one like you. There is no one like you. Lord, there is no one like you. You help the powerless against the mighty. You help Kyle against these things that are being against him. You help, oh Lord. We rely on you and in your name. We, we have come against this vast army. It's trying to relocate and reroute Kyle in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Lord, you are our God and we will not, we will not, not fear and you do not let man prevail against you do not let men prevail against you father I thank you Father, your word says, and to the angel, to the church in Philadelphia that writes, these things, says he, who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts, and shuts and no one opens. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door. No one can shut it. For you have 
a little strength, kept my word, and you have not denied my name. Father, I thank you for Revelation 3. I thank you, Father, for your word in me. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for Zephaniah 2 and 3. Seek the Lord, all you meek of the earth, who have upheld his justice. Seek righteousness. Seek humility. It may be that you will be hidden in the day of the Lord's anger. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, I thank you. I thank you, Father. Father, I thank you. I thank you. I give you praise. I give you praise. Father, I thank you, Lord. You said with the weak, say they're strong. The poor. See the rich. Oh, Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you that we will overcome Satan. And we will overcome Satan. Testify personally to what the Word of God says. That the blood of Jesus does for us. Through the blood of Jesus, we are redeemed and out of the hand of the devil. And through the blood of Jesus, all of our sins are forgiven. And through the blood of Jesus, we are continually being cleansed from all sins. And through the blood of Jesus, we are justified. We are made right, just as if we had never sinned. Through the blood of Jesus, we are sanctified and made holy and set apart to God. And through the blood of Jesus, I have boldness. We have boldness to enter in, into the presence of God. Through the blood of Jesus, cries out continually to God in heaven on my behalf and on your behalf. So, Father, I thank you. No weapons formed against us can prosper. Every tongue that arises against us in judgment, we do condemn. This is our heritage as a servant of the Lord, and our righteousness is from you. O Lord of hosts, if there are those who have been speaking or praying against us or seeking to harm us, or reject us, I forgive them. And having forgiven them, I bless them in the name of the Lord. And I declare, O oh Lord, that you and you alone are my God. And besides you, there is no other. A just God and a Savior, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. I worship you. I submit myself afresh to you. Today, you today in unreserved obedience, having submitted to you, O Lord, I do as your word directs. And I resist the devil and all of his pressures, all of his attacks, 
all of his deception, all of every instrument or agent would be able to seek to use against me. And I do not submit. I resist him and I drive him from me. And I exclude him from me now in the name of Jesus. Specifically, I reject and I repel infirmities, infections, pains, inflammations, malignancies, allergies, viruses, from every form of witchcraft and every type of stress. In Jesus' name. Finally, Lord, I thank you. Through the sacrifice of your son Jesus on your cross, I have passed out from under the curse and entered into the blessings of Abraham whom you blessed in all things, exaltations, health, reproductiveness, prosperity, victory, God's favor, and God's friendships. Amen and amen. Thank you. 
Have your way, Holy Spirit. 